pip install python here i dig through github often and most of the time i find shit code but I, every now and then I find a gem and I wanted to create a video on this one because I haven't seen anybody talk about this project. This one has been in the works for a while now. We have 14,000 commits, 2.4 thousand stars. It is a open source inventory management system. So in this video, I'm going to dive into Eventry. Eventry is a very ambitious project. What it comes out of the box with as far as features and the ambitious roadmap that they have set up is impressive. And the team has been working hard for a while now. I've clearly um, taken some time and getting this project set up on my own operating system. I looked through their tech stack and it is um, overwhelming for newcomers or people that do not have a understanding of programming for about a five years two to five years is probably what it would take to really have a good grip around everything that is outlined here as far as understanding docker django authentication database clients um and, and just working off of somebody else's project it takes time to really get competent at that level uh, so if you feel like you could take on the challenge let me show you what this has in store for you so this project, like it's stated, is an inventory management system with a lot of different features. It comes out of the box, focused on suppliers, manufacturers, selling to customers, or uh, sales orders. Uh, and, and you take what is inventory, and then you put it in your database, and then you can use the inventory as a way to make money, or you could use it as a way to build into other products, which I found really cool. So it takes a practical approach of like, all right, you need bolts and screws to make this chair well how many are currently in production where are we sitting on production and of we the inventory to make this product so it just tracks everything throughout the supply chain of building and innovating uh, in the real world um, and it gives you know what is the common person the tools of manufacturing and with what is currently unfolding in this day and age and with the restructuring of manufacturing overseas this tool is very useful for the independent manufacturer or somebody that's looking to scale their business. So with that stated, I wanted to give a little bit better understanding of other features that this thing has. Um, it has a lot in regards uh, to equating you know these products to manufacturers or to uh, subcontractors and it has what is this QR system that's based off of the items so that you can easily look through them. Your search function is actually pretty good. So if I do B, for example, we can get an idea of all the products that start with B. And uh, you can see the customers that start with B. Uh, you can see the companies. You can see a bunch of other different stuff. And it filters everything in a really nice manner. Uh, you can click on any of these, and you can see there I am. Uh, threw in my profile picture. I was doing a little bit of work over here. Uh, you can notify. You know, you can change inventory. You could just quickly dive in here, add attachments, a bunch of other different ways that you can, you know, articulate what this is used in. Uh, you know, suppliers, all the stuff that you need to run a business. Um, it's all here out of the box. And the really amazing thing that this comes with, and just to give you an idea of how large of a project this is, is their API. So their API has authentication where it could require none. You could be using token-based authentication, basic authentication, or sessions authentication. So it really has everything covered. Um, they have source code for the shell, the JavaScript, and the Python, which is also really nice. Just a really well done API. But let's just give you a scale. I'm just going to start scrolling of how many API call points there are for this application. This is why I say that this is intimidating because for you to build off of this, like it is just a lot of work. But once you get it down, like you have a really strong back end foundation, you have two applications built side by side well connected where you can really get stuff done so 
it, it's a give and take. The only other project that I can relate this to is uh, Django Oscar, which is another inventory management system. The only thing that I could say about this, though, is it doesn't have that point of sale. You don't have that front end, so you're going to have to build that out yourself. So you have what is the back end for everything, but it doesn't come out of the box with the front end, and it doesn't come out of the box with uh, what is uh, the transaction. Uh, so you're not going to be able to you know, use PayPal. You have to create a custom PayPal way of handling this, and that's just going to create you know, a lot of work. So that's the only downside I could say about this, but it does come out of the box with an app, so you can download their app for $9.00. Um, and you can connect it to your Postgres, um, you know, Django database, um, and you can use that as a way to upgrade and update live, you know, what's going on within the project. They have a decent enough documentation. Um, I had trouble getting it set up, you know, with their install. Um, they have, you know, something that's focused on Bash, and I don't ever use that really, and it was just creating issues with my operating system so I, I went around and I just decided you know what I'm gonna do this a different way and the way that I was able to get this on my operating system is by going into inventory contributing MD within the inventory project um, and what this did is I went over to docker and then I just cloned the project I CD into the inventory folder and then I composed ran you know the development I installed you know the requirements and all that and that really helped speed up getting this thing into an actual development uh, space because um, this is where I'm at you know and this is uh, this is what I built out um, it's it's looking great I, I got it running on my operating system uh, as you can see over here uh, other thing I would like to note is in here there are two files or folders that you know you really need to pay attention to um, there's docker file you can dive into that um, and then you want to dive into what is um, inventory uh, because in the config template this config template is the config that you're going to be basing you know the yaml file off of uh, and you have to open up some ports uh, it's all based out for you so it gives you like simple you know settings as you can see over here and you can unhighlight this like this and then you can open up the database for that um, so you just got to run through this file and you got to look at what is provided and what you would like to open up. But database is definitely one of them. Uh, your media file and your uh, static folder are both two things that you're going to need to get set up through this. And it's all outlined for you. Only thing that really caused me a little bit of trouble is that dang Postgres database. So if I go into Docker and if I go into requirements, I replaced uh, Spico PG2 with Spico PG2 binary because that works better on Mac and that fixed my Postgres issues. Uh, but it was a simple just Docker compose, you know, up after that. And uh, as you can see, it gets running and that's all it took. So uh, with that, I hope that this gives you a pretty good idea of what this project is. It's a, you know, open source inventory management system, you know, out of the box, has a lot of features. It's an active development project. It has a lot of stars. It has a lot of people working on it. If you're trying to save yourself some, some time, the best way to innovate and build is to take the best work around you and to combine it in a way that is useful. And this is a head start as far as getting an inventory management system set up for your application out of the box has a lot of features is impressive so if you are able to take on the challenge check out you know inventory and uh with that tell me what you guys think in the comments down below like subscribe and i will see you guys